Hey Nesters, welcome back to part two of my Goodwill thrift haul from my last thrift along with me. As you can see, I have another good haul here, quite a few items, so I'll go ahead and jump into it. Most of these items I am going to list up on Etsy auction. It's just something I'm trying to explore a little bit and see if I like it, so I figured I would dive in and put most of this on there. There's a few items I will list up on Etsy as well, so I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I picked up was this coffee percolator. I love the color green, and I had this really nice plastic, kind of looks sparkly glass, but it's actually plastic, I believe. Maybe it's glass, <laughs> it might be glass. But I just really liked it and it seemed to be the complete set here. I've never used a coffee percolator so I'm not sure if it has all the pieces but it looks like it. So it has this piece in there and then it has this on the bottom which I assume is some type of a heating mechanism that this will set into. So. I did grab that there. It was priced $5. I have no idea what it's actually worth, so I'm going to have to look into that. I might just auction it off as is and see if anyone is interested in it, but I just thought it looked really cool. And if it doesn't sell, I'll probably just set it up on one of my shelves and enjoy it for decor. I picked up another vintage green glassware piece. This is a planter and the thing about this is when I saw it, I said that looks like a drum and that would be excellent for Christmas decor, you know, the little drummer boy. I thought this would be very adorable to figure out some kind of display to use for Christmas. It was marked $2. I could just imagine this with a little point set it inside of it and yeah, I thought it would be cute. So that'll be up on eBay auction. All right, so I picked up the Blue Bowed Goose frame. This is a nice ceramic or porcelain, I think it's porcelain, uh, Japan piece, and it has these beautiful florals around the edge of it. I always like to adopt the Blue Bowed Goose. I'm afraid they might get lost. It's one of those endangered species, I think, <laughs> in the vintage world. You either love them or hate them. There's not really in between there. So I keep a few for myself and I do try to pick them up if I see them in good condition to resell. So hopefully someone has some 80s nostalgia and will like to get this or just think of it as a kind of fun, kitschy thing to get and just be proud to adopt the Blue Bow Goose, right? I'm going to make a hashtag for that. I did pick up the set of four vintage butterfly gold saucers. These are from the 1970s. They are Corel and it was $3 for the set of four. I think I am gonna put this on eBay just to see how they do. Uh, I have quite a bit in my own collection that I'll probably be listing up in Etsy soon. So just kind of get an idea of what these might go for and we'll go from there with the rest of the items I have to list. But I really like to collect the Pyrex Corel compatibles and I figured other people would like that as well so I do pick it up if I find it in good condition. Next I found this little miniature owl figure and he looks like he's sleeping, standing up. <laughs> and he has a squirrel friend I believe there. Now there is a couple of flowers in the front that appear to be a little bit chipped but they don't look that noticeable. It's so small so I'm not really sure they're but I think they look fine. I didn't even really notice them until now myself. Now I paid a dollar for it and this will be a eBay auction item. We'll see how it does. It's just such a small figurine. I feel like those are kind of hard to really list and get a good price for. So it's really just going to be one of those things that whatever it's worth to somebody else, that's what it'll go for. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was cute and I was going to pick that up. And usually if I get the smaller figurines like this, I'll just put them in my antique booth because they don't really sell for a whole lot online to make it worth your while. I picked up this statue here of a our working schedule. This is in the same design as the Russ and Berries, but I guess this is actually put out by Paula. I've never heard of that company, but it's still from the 1970s, 1975 to be exact. I thought it was pretty funny. It says starting time, 8 a.m., morning coffee break, which is an hour later, 9 to 11.30 a.m. Then lunch hour is 11.30 to 1.30 p.m., which means you've been on break since nine. So nine to 1.30, basically, you have your morning coffee break and lunch. And then you work a half hour, 
afternoon coffee break is 2 to 4 30 and then you work another half hour and then quitting hour is at 5 p.m so i thought that was pretty funny there and i don't know about you guys but i've worked at places in the past and it seems like men's schedules tend to be that way <laughs> in some some situations i'm not saying men aren't hard workers but i worked with some men where that was pretty much their day I picked up this little creamer or vase, whatever you want to call it here, and it was marked a dollar. It's a vintage Japan piece. It has these cute little birds on it, and I just thought it was kind of dainty and pretty and would look cute sitting on somebody's shelf. So that will be up on eBay auction. We'll see how it does. If it was a creamer and sugar set, I probably would have listed it on Etsy, but where it's just the one piece, if it is a creamer, it might just be a little... A little vase of some sort which probably it is <laughs> I just think it's super cute and hopefully someone can enjoy that this here is probably the most vintage thing I found it's this adorable train in the pink and yellow and there's a little bit of green in there as well it is stamped made in Japan on the bottom I paid two dollars for it there's a little bit of crazing in it mostly up in this area but look at the front he has a little face <laughs> It's so adorable. It could be used for a little vase or I don't know, maybe you could even use it for a pen and pencil holder. It's so adorable. This is one item I've been leaning towards whether I should keep it or not because my grandfather did retire from the railroad and I have a little bit of a, you know, sentimental feeling about trains and this one's really cute. So if I don't keep this, I will probably list this up on Etsy because it's obviously definitely vintage enough for there. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is cool folk art or if you think it's weird. I know it's one of those things that you have to really have a certain kind of style to appreciate it. I really like it. I wouldn't mind putting it in my own home decor. If you like to decorate in boho particularly, this would go very well with that. Anything with kind of skulls and horns and stuff is very boho. Uh, and obviously it's kind of country as well because it's a bowl. Now I paid $2 for it. It is in vintage condition. There's some crazing and you know a little bit of cracking and stuff, but it just kind of looks cool, I think. But I really liked it. It does have a hanger in the back there. And I think just because it's so unique, I'm going back and forth whether I want to eBay auction this or put it on Etsy. I think I'm going to eBay auction it because it is very different and I, I just don't know if it would sit, you know, in, the, in my Etsy store too long. I don't know, we'll see where it ends up, but it will be for sale somewhere. Now I found a few grab bags and this one here has hand-painted eggs from Poland. They are stickered there, so I know they're from Poland. They make all kinds of these in various colors, and I thought they were really nice. I've never seen them before, but I really like color, and if you could get a bunch of these, they would look super cute in a basket for a table center piece or something like that. I don't really get into decorating with eggs. I know somebody you know, some people like to, and especially around Easter time, but this is super pretty. I will list them together on eBay auction. We'll see how they do. I've seen them sell for decent money, so I think they will make okay. Uh, I expect to get probably 8 to 12 for the pair of them, and yeah, we'll, we'll see. I did pick up a vintage pecan pie recipe plate. I really enjoy picking these up. I have a small collection myself. I already have this one. This one was $3, and this part of it is in good condition. There is a few, there's sort of chips on the back. They're kind of just rough spots, but you know, it's the underneath. It's not that serious. You can still totally use it. This is put out by Sunny Craft, Sunny's Pride Sunstone Collection, and it is oven to table to dishwasher, microwave, and detergent safe. So that's always good. Uh, I know it's fall time and making pies is a thing I like to do in the fall. So I figured this would be a good thing to list instead of put in my antique booth. So I will go ahead and put that up on eBay auction and we will see how it does. I would expect it to go probably between 12 to 18, somewhere in that range. So we'll see. 
They had some great grab bags there today. They're my favorite things to pick up, especially at the smaller Goodwill. It seems they do this more often. They just don't have a lot of space there, so I love it. I love it when they toss things in the bag and I can get a good price for a bunch of stuff. Now this is a bag of clowns, so again, I know some people don't like them. Just go ahead and shut your eyes and I'll tell you when the scary clowns go away. But these are not super old ones, but they're still very cute. They have five, it looks like, in the bag. So this one here has bunnies with it. This one has some puppies. And then we have, this one has, I think this is a repeat, so I'll probably put the repeat one in my antique booth. And then there appears to be two more. Let's see, we got, I think these are, those might be cats. <laughs> and then this is a couple of geese. So what I'll do is list the four of these together up on eBay auction, and then I will put that one that is a duplicate in my antique booth. I think with putting them in a lot together, I think they'll do a little bit better. So I think I can get about, well, I would say 18 to maybe 25 uh, with a four set. So we'll see how they do. I think they're super cute and clowns are great to use in Halloween decor, which is coming right up. So I think they'll do okay. And it costs me $3 for the bag for the five of them. All right, I'm just hiding the scary clowns behind here. You guys can open your eyes. Now, I found another grab bag. This one is a Christmas themed one. It was priced $2. I mainly saw a set of carolers inside that I had wanted. I'm not really sure what the other things are, so we can look here. So this is a cute little teddy bear. It's a plastic figure on a sleigh. There is no ornament hook on it, so it is something that would just sit on the shelf. I think that's super cute. I will probably do a 99 cent auction on that on eBay. We'll see how that does. And we've got some type of an ornament here. It's like the backing is missing. <laughs> there is some chips on it as well, but it's kind of cute. I like the house. It's a kind of that Victorian story, you know, storybook fairy tale type of house. I really like the painted houses like that. Very pretty, but it is chipped, so I will probably just toss that in a box for you know, free box for the yard sale or something like that. And it looks like there's another one similar. This one has a story on the back, so I bet that's what was on the back of that. This one says it's 1883 Queensgate. The apartment building at 1883 Queensgate is a delightful example of Italianate architecture right down to its segmented windows and turned portico balustrade. The roomy front porch on the Circa 1883 building is the favorite gathering place of those folks who call it home and who host the best barbecues on the block. <laughs> this one again is chipped, so that will be going in a free box somewhere. The other thing that was inside there is an ornament of a little, is that a tugboat? I don't really know, it's some type of a boat, but it has wheels, so maybe it's a train. Why is it shaped like a boat? <laughs> Okay, so it's a train part. It is made in 1991 by Gilmore Designs. Uh, it's a little bit damaged. It's missing one of the steps. Another free box item. But now to why I bought it are these carolers. These originally look like they may have been ornaments because the little eye hook, uh, metal hooks on the top seem to be missing. You could easily fix that if you wanted to use them for ornaments again. They are made in China, but I feel they are on the older side, probably from the 80s. And they're super cute. This one is the red boy and girl. And there's another one that is exactly like that, but they are in a different color. I am going to put them on eBay auction separately by set. So this set will be listed and then the other set will be listed. And we will see how they do, but I thought they were really cute. And it's nice, you could turn them back into ornaments if you like, or you could just use them as shelf decor. I did pick up a set of salt and pepper shakers. These are not Blue Mountain Pottery, even though they look very similar in style and they have the red clay. They are Canadian pottery, however. They are either Evangeline or McMaster, I believe. I'm not sure which, but they're in super good condition and I thought these would be great for Halloween. They are in an orange and kind of this black, 
almost like a dark brown color and I love how it has that drippy you know paint to it I thought it'd be perfect for Halloween decor for somebody I will list these up on Etsy because I don't know I just it's a set and I think they're a little nicer I'd like to just put that on Etsy and yeah so I was happy to get that I did pay four dollars for them and I think I can get about 20 to Oh, maybe like 25 with free shipping included so we will try it there I did pick up the wooden clock I'm not sure the age of it I would guess probably around the 80s and they have a retro font to the numbers so I think it would pair well with a lot of vintage items I really like how it has a wooden background which looks really nice with the Danish mid-century items as well very into you know using wood in that kind of style so I think it would go nicely with that I have to put batteries in it and make sure it works but if it does work it's good to go I will list it up on eBay auction and yeah I just thought it was a nice piece it's in pretty good condition it has you know a couple of you know a little bit of nicks and little wear in places but nothing too serious so we will see how that does I would expect it to go for about 20 to maybe even 30 and yeah <laughs> we will see the last thing I picked up I actually originally picked up just to toss into my antique booth but I was thinking it might be kind of fun to put on eBay auction as kind of a grab bag so what it is I paid three dollars for this large jar of miscellaneous used thread they have polyester thread uh, cotton cotton covered polyester is a various amounts of thread I don't know a lot of the brands but they do have some in there with the wooden spools which I know can be a collector's item some people just like to use those for display so yeah I thought that may be a fun thing to try uh, obviously I can toss it in my booth if it doesn't work out but <laughs> it just seemed like a fun idea and there's a lot of people that like to sew out there and it would be a fun little grab bag for them so I'll throw it up there and we'll see if it goes or not I'm not really sure what I would expect to make off of it at least get my money back and maybe a couple bucks for my time right <laughs> but yeah that's gonna do it for today's Goodwill Thrift Haul I hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments below what item I picked up that was your favorite if you're interested in anything that I shared with you today, I do have links to both my Etsy and eBay stores in the description menu below. Make sure you are subscribed. If you want to see more thrifting videos from me, thrifting along with me at the store, as well as thrift hauls and some yard sale hauls, I do still have some I need to film and catch up on. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!